Hey guys and welcome back to yet another one of my travel vlogs and in this video I'm in a different part of the Corfu Island. I'm currently in Roda which is only 15 minutes down the road from Sidari but I've had this video requested from quite a few people so I thought why not show you what Roda looks like at the moment. If you haven't watched any of my videos exploring Sidari then be sure to watch them here. If you don't want to miss out on any of my travel vlogs be sure to click that subscribe button to see a new vlog every week. So let's go and explore Roda. I love how close and narrow these little walkways are. And you'll see more when I get down to the main strip. So here's the main strip. It's very narrow as you can see and it's really cute. But you can either go left or go right. Um, first I'm gonna take you right. I've just walked through Pirate Spa and as you can see now I'm on the beach which is absolutely gorgeous. You can't actually see how many people there are here because nobody's actually on the sand but they're all lying on the sunbeds. This is really nice. This is my first proper time in Rhoda and I love how like the strip area has got like an old town kind of vibe with a narrow streets etc a few little people swim in i'm just going to walk back through the bar where i came and go back onto the strip and continue my little tour further down here There are lots of cute little Greek tavernas. And I guess that's kind of the end of this side. It's currently a quarter to four on a Friday evening, so I guess people are just chilling out, getting prepared for later. There's not many people walking around on this strip road, but down on the beach, there are lots of people on the sunbeds, just soaking up this beautiful sunshine because it's absolutely amazing today and every day, actually. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go back down to where I started and take you along the left side of the strip. But so far I like, I like the vibe, it seems quite nice here. Oh and also, I don't know where, I'll put the name to it here, but there is an English shop in Rhoda. If you're from England and you're missing your home comforts then you can go to this shop and they do like Bisto gravy for example, which if you know me, you know I love Bisto, I even bought a tub over with me when we left. So, so yeah, that's a good little shop. There's a few really nice like all day beach bars that you can come to. That one for example looks really really nice. I 
I guess what most of the places here, they have like signs outside that say free sunbed to the beach. So I guess what they do is if you buy a drink or some food in the bars, then they've got a sunbed that you can just relax at all day for free. Well, it's kind of free. You buy a drink, buy some food. Yeah, it's kind of free. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering as well, masks are not mandatory here in Corfu. Some places will ask you to put them on, for example, in... No, I don't even, I don't even think in the supermarkets we've been putting them on. So, yeah, it's a bit of a controversial topic, but yeah, just thought I'd give you that little bit of information. Can it get more English than a big... A bar called the Big Ben. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. They've got their own Big Ben lager for two euro a pint and Mythos for 2.50 a pint. There you want to go for your cheap beer. That's kind of the end of this left area um, and now I'm just going to show you the beach and show you how far the beach actually spreads um, around. On first impressions I feel like Rhoda has more of a chilled vibe than Sadari, a bit like Arillus. If you haven't watched my Arillus video then you can go and watch that here. Um, so yeah it's kind of more chill. There's not there's not like a strip as such as there is in Sadari. And another thing that I've noticed is that there are lots of really nice apartments very close to the beach here in Rhoda. When we were looking for some where was Oh! I got stung by a wasp the other day and it absolutely killed so now I'm petrified. Anyway, when we were looking for somewhere to stay in Corfu, Rhoda was one of our options because we were really struggling to find somewhere within our budget. However, accommodation in Rhoda seemed a lot more within our budget than Sadari. Up here is the Temple of Rhoda, but I can see a few cats and cats are not my thing so I'm sorry. But if you're into temples and things like that, then there's the place to go. I'm also on a Corfu forum on Facebook and have loads of recommendations of places that are very popular here in Rhoda. So I'll put some of those names down in the description box below. It's been a nice little short and sweet visit for us to Rhoda but from what other people have told us about Rhoda it's got a good reputation and I can definitely say it's really nice here and you should definitely consider visiting if when you come to Corfu. I hope this video has been really useful for you. If you don't want to miss out on any of my future vlogs then please click the subscribe button, click like if you enjoyed this video and why not follow me on Instagram at Sky Samuels and see you in the next vlog. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>